This is for the nerds, this is for the brainiacs, this is what we deserve. Go ahead and play it back, you ain't gonna touch me, you not gonna do nothing, you are not above me, I bet you wish you was me, I know it, I know it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Only Friends podcast. And, you know, I, I really want to work on a new intro. I, I feel like the what's up, everybody, is uh, a little tired. Played out. What's popping? Yeah. What's popping? Yeah, you gotta, we just you have, gotta, you gotta just have Conrad do it. We, we, no. no. <laughs> Not everything can be popping. First of all, poppin'. be poppin'. well, this, of all, this podcast is popping. Uh, Sometimes. I wouldn't trust Conrad to do anything rehearsed day in and day out. <laughs> yeah. Me fucking neither. Yeah. All he has to do is say what's popping. He says it 15 times Doesn't a day. He, he hosted one it. show and it was, it was uh, an it's absolute good. terror. No, it was good. Uh, yeah, it was know, great. It was I, had a, I had a blast. Yeah, it was, it was great that day. Uh, no. Really good day that day. I mean, we had 666 with us, so, you know, it was kind of hard. <laughs> yeah, I get it. You know, it's, yeah. it's tough to fight. The combination of the New York boys. The New York boys. <laughs> the poppin' New York boys. In the building, we're here to get it poppin'. You already yeah. fucking know. They definitely were there to get it poppin'. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to, like, work in only friends into the intro. You can do but, whatever you want, man, as long as it sounds nice and we talk about it beforehand. We'll rehearse it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Maybe. Yeah. I have a feeling that for the next 100 episodes, you might just be, do what's up, everybody? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, your, that's, your, uh, that's your baseline, you know? Your baseline is what's up, everybody, and then until you figure it out. The deviation is is hard. I'm I'm having a hard time finding it. I mean, you yeah, could do like you did yesterday, where you're just like, "Hello, and welcome." That was a very <laughs> special episode. It was a special. We were joined episode. by royalty. And we are basically the champ, world champ, world, world champ. Wow, That's that was been, yesterday. You're yeah. dead. Mm -hmm. sure. There you go. You're yeah. dead. See, nailed it. Dead. Yeah. If only you could do that yesterday. Mm -hmm. I nailed it. <laughs> I nailed it. It just took me a couple of times. Uh, we went for two hours yesterday, smooth as a baby's bottom. Could have easily done another hour. We didn't even get into the saunas and smoothies. We didn't. We didn't even begin to cover how much of a beast he is when it comes to heat therapy. You talked about the sauna. We talked yeah, about that. Briefly, you're right. Yeah. All I talked about was how he embarrassed me. Wow. Made me feel very bad about my tolerance. <laughs> I've been in there grinding every day since. He also, adding one minute to the clock. He also embarrassed uh, over 8,000 people in the poker felt That's main event. Oh, embarrassed. <laughs> he only played against like 1% of the field or less, right? No, he beat everybody. Ah, uh, right. That's yeah. how it works. When you win a tournament, you actually person. beat everybody in the tournament. He didn't beat the guy Obviously. with Queen Jack. No. Nope. That guy taught him a real lesson in live games. Think that guy cashed? Nope. No <laughs> shot. <laughs> At not, not playing Queen Jack like that. Absolutely <laughs> not. Uh, I don't know if you keep getting people to fold kings. Yeah, something tells me that parlor trick's only going to work once or twice. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So what are we doing today? It's Friday. Oh, I don't know. I can't even see your head. Yeah. A lot of lights. That light is... I can't see his face either. I mean, it's like, crazy. He completely he, blocked he's himself. So, oh, he's he's put, so pale look. that he needs to set up this many lights around him to the point where we can't even see him. <laughs> he's literally <laughs> surrounded so by lights. Okay, okay, first of all, these lights only make me more pale. Number one. Number two, they're all on fucking Landon. Literally every one of these lights is on fucking Landon. I mean, Those literally. Are, I can see And you know why? You know why they're all on Landon? Because you guys insisted to put the black void behind him. <laughs> yeah. um, hey guys in the chat, if you think it looks better with a completely washed Somebody, out. Oh, here we go. Melissa sipped into the chat again. Because you... Berkey thinks yes. for some reason, which is completely selfishly motivated because he knows he looks better with the window open. Well, just just he, run a poll. He thinks that, like the, yeah, like which, the which white like yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, let's listen. run a poll for the chat on what they like behind Landon. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's have them pick the topics for us. Yeah, let's before do this it. conversation even started, somebody wrote. Landon's background looks so much better than yesterday, I could barely see him. Wow, okay. <laughs> like okay. before you guys even started this shit. Well, so DePaulo said he's anti Black Void. Well, there we go. What? Well, oh, now, so, so now, now what? So now, now what? Right, right. Now what, Conrad? We uh, have data points of two. The New York boys are divided. What, what, would, what would you like us to do with this information? Like the idea of leaning on anecdotes of like, well, one person in the chat told uh, no, me I'm that just they saying, don't like sports. Before this conversation even started, he yeah. literally wrote it. I'm That's just, a fair I'm point. I'm just saying, man. One thousand, what the one million percent better with the better, black background. And yeah. When will you learn? And wait, Ryan. When? Ryan only said he's hundred percent with you, and this guy said a million percent. Yeah, better. So. <laughs> so. Uh, a million percent is better than hundred yeah. percent. When will you guys learn? I mean, I'm gonna say I haven't even looked at the. When shot, will I'm you learn? Sure. It's not. It's not <laughs> about the background. What's it about? 
It's it's about it's not about letting shot, the inmates run the asylum. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's like uh, I love everybody in the chat. Shout out to all the Alpha Rex who've made it this far and our new only friends. Okay, but, but this was our decision and they're just back. Well, us you up. guys are becoming the goddamn inmates. That's the problem. <laughs> well, you're the one surrounding just yourself the insane with inmates. Asylum. I mean, what's it say about you that you only surround yourself with inmates? I, I don't it's know. Like a uh, honestly, weird. you're right. I've made some poor choices. Yeah. <laughs> I think you've made great choices. Yeah. I think it's debatable. If you want to see uh, all the lights on Berkey and, and my, sh my view of Berkey, go to um, at Brian, none Lake of these 7. lights are on me. What? Listen, they're all pointed at Landon. There's a light yeah, literally in front of your eyes. All but those, it's basically off. Right, but the way I shot, oh, that, the off. way I took the picture makes it look like they're all on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh bullshit. man! Look, I'm blind. <laughs> what are you doing? I yeah, I literally can't see him. Oh, oh. there we go. Not all of us can be olive like you, Brian. I know. And Melissa, you guys are olive. <laughs> not not olive. Well, I, Brian's not debatably olive. olive. You guys looked Damn orange man. yesterday. Yeah. Over, over in that little... That's because we're hot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're on fire. We're hot and Your we shot looks Bravo. really good today. Mm -hmm. That shot is so... This is the best shot now. So good. Yeah, it's well lit. The, the wall back there is just... The camera's great. I don't know why we didn't yeah, do that earlier. The background's great. We got plants. The plants are good, yeah. Nice... Shrubbery. <laughs> mm -hmm. What? Oh, that's the the wind. I was trying to figure out what was uh, like dimming the bulb, if you will, giving it a little little glow. What ball? The bulb. That one behind you. Sulfur. The the, the sulfur <laughs> Y logo. Oh. It has a little angel angelic glow to it, uh -huh. and then I realized it's the the window Paint. beside you. It's you. Yeah, it's you. <laughs> it's, it's, you're glowing. There's a, there's a halo right No, no, it's you. You're glowing. What are you guys saying? You guys did edibles before this started, or what's happening I'm here? saying you're glowing. You're welcome. You, right? on the other hand, are <laughs> <laughs> in a goddamn basement. I, listen, man, I deserve to be in the basement. Go really. on. Tell it's us really. why. No. Are you down bad, sir? Down so bad. So down, bad. down so bad. Down, down, down Did bad. the internet yell at you? <laughs> Dude, the internet loves the, the, internet, the internet loves This the is what happens yeah. when you give power to the inmates. Yep. They come for you eventually with pitchforks. They come for pitch you forks. regardless, if, but sometimes they're right. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> oh, that's a great meme. Listen, man, that is, a that is an objectively hilarious meme. That is the best meme I've ever it seen. It is a very good meme. And it's, it's, yeah. So the internet came for you. They want your head on a spike. They, <laughs> they do that normally, you know, every like every couple quarters or so I do something where I realize that Fuck <laughs> Nope, shouldn't have done that. I uh, Two things one this isn't Well, this is your fault. Yeah <laughs> this, this, this is I your fault, more but more but as a young man in your position I could see how it happened Sure. So, for everybody who doesn't understand what we're talking about, uh, Landon is an ambassador for Ignition, and he was asked to put out a tweet uh, promoting their, their slot play the other day. Mm -hmm. Now, in a general sense, stuff like this is fine. People advertise slots all the time. Drake is fucking out there grinding them for millions of dollars for whatever site that is. I can't remember. Fake. Uh, yeah, they're like professional slot streamers, yeah. yada, yada, yada. I mean, we see this all the time with ACR, like going all the way back to the naggy thing when, when it broke, that was part of a slot stream, Yeah. yeah. right? So uh, it's not like this is new, right? and it's certainly not uh, something that like other sites, not even like unique to Ignition. Wait, the the um, sexual harassment thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just wanted um, to clarify that. Just to clarify. <laughs> just to clarify, you know, the CEO of a major yeah, online. Yeah, so sexually harasses his female employees. I just wanted to clarify right, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's not gloss over. Okay, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> yeah, th thank you for that note. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, so, you know, none of this is new, and our community is very, uh, I would say, uh, aware. Um, numb to it. Yeah. Let's say. But for the majority of. Uh, the reach within this space, I would say 99.9% .9 of people who are shilling slots on any site are relatively unknown. Their, their platforms are small. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they don't really have much of a voice. Yeah. And their integrity is never really going to get called into question because nobody has any idea what their integrity actually is. Yeah, makes sense. 
Yourself, on the other hand, a little different. You've kind of built yourself a, a, a bit of a leave it to Beaver uh, persona what, here. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I know you're young. What's a leave uh, it to Beaver? It was a show. You know what? The funny part is, is like I'm also too young for leave it's it to very Beaver. I'm also show. too young, but I know what leave it to right, Beaver is. Right. It's a very wholesome show. Yeah. What is it, what is Beaver? It transcends he's the, the generation. He, he's the um, the, the child in in the in, in the leave family. It, he's Beaver one from the, Leave It to Beaver. Is yeah. he Beaver? He's Beaver. Yeah. He, uh, <laughs> what what yeah, does the, he do? What's the point here? He's just good. Oh. He's just a good, wholesome I see. Christian young man. You know, uh, very fifties okay. esque of, mm -hmm. of America. Sure. And he did no wrong. And you know, ah oh. shucks. The mm. difference between me and Beaver is I did wrong. Well, yeah. I mean, you're human. People yeah. are gonna make mistakes. But my whole point is, is that like your rep coming into the community was you were a young, hungry grinder who yeah, kind yeah. of networked his way through. And uh, you lean very heavily on your character and your integrity. And, yeah. you know, you take a lot of pride in that. Yeah, yeah. So that makes you a target it whenever does. posts like this tend to uh, yeah. bring themselves forward. 100%. So I guess if we're going to address this, which it seems like we're leaning into it, yeah, yeah. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about how this process came to be yeah. and what you would have done differently? Yeah, so from an ambassador standpoint, um, I was mostly doing stuff for the poker side and Ignition Marketing wanted to try a slots thing. And as like my first ambassador role, I wasn't necessarily sure. And I did have some internal kind of feelings of like, I don't know if this is a good idea. And I, I had some bad feelings about it. And I also didn't want to, I didn't want to make a mistake. And realizing after the post happened, like you realize that it was kind of an issue. And from like now moving forward, um, I'm not going to be doing any like slot stream, like slot shilling or tweets of anything of that nature. And mostly just representing the poker side moving forward. And that's where I felt comfortable with. And I feel good about that part, but I should have taken more responsibility and I should have pushed back more. And I didn't realize I had as much effectively, hey, this is not going to go well with my audience and my brand specifically, that I should be a little bit more proactive about that. I, th I think uh, something that doesn't happen often enough in these ambassadorship roles yeah. is communication between the company and, and the ambassador yeah. in the sense of uh, you're attractive to them because of the platform that you've built. Mm -hmm. But they're probably not super sensitive to the image that you've created, your personal brand, and all those other things because their main interest is going to be leveraging uh your reach yeah right so from their incentive standpoint they should do that as selfishly as possible and yeah. like i wouldn't fault them at all for the messages they asked you to push forward right right and from your standpoint you want to be a good brand ambassador right. and promote them in an honorable way but you want to do so i want to do right by my people yeah you want to do right by your brand and you want to do right by your your uh platform right so you need to be able to uh, have some autonomy mm -hmm. as far as like what the messaging is that comes through, what's good, what's bad, what's on the table, what's off the table and things of that nature. Yeah. And I think that what gets missed is that both of you acting in your most selfish ways to protect yourselves ultimately leads to the best messaging and marketing uh, uh, available, right? Yeah. Like if you are more communicative to them saying like, look, I know the poker industry. Yeah. I know Twitter. Yep. I know social media and I know my particular platform. Yeah. This isn't going to fly. No, this is definitely an expected result. For sure. Right. Then they can just look at that and say like, okay, we don't need to test because, uh, he's done all of this testing up until this point. Like, yeah. That's what's allowed him to grow. Right. Uh, we have to trust that he understands his platform pretty well. Yeah. And you know, from their side, they can just say like, okay, well then let's do something, uh, a little bit more enticing to your community. Let's, right. Let's run a contest, perhaps, mm -hmm. uh, that is poker driven, yeah. but yields free slot play. Sure. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And convert people that way. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you kind of work the backdoor channel, so to speak. Yeah. So I think that this is like one of those things where, uh, you know, obviously, in my opinion, um, well, it's twofold. Number yeah. one, I think that it's a massive overreaction. But number two, I think it's uh, it's an expected reaction 100%. and one that is to some degree deserved. So yeah. what I mean by that is not that you did something horrifically wrong and should be roasted at the stake, mm -hmm. but People more so anyways, but still it's fine. Well, it's more so that like when you curate a, a particular brand and when you uh, yeah. lead with 
what you consider to be your integrity and things of that nature. Yeah, there's a standard. There, there's not a lot of wiggle room. Right. Right? Like, I'm hyper aware of this. If I'm going to be on this mic five days a week calling out people that I think are harmful to the community, then I personally can't back or invest in things that also may be perceived as harmful to the community. Yeah. 100%. Right? Yeah, it makes sense. So it's like I cut off a lot of channels that uh, could be revenue producing to me because of this high integrity stance that I choose to take with my own personal brand. Yeah. Now, of course, I could just say, don't care. Uh, I, you know, scorn me if you want, like whatever, sh shred me. But, uh, and, and that would also just work, right? Like it would work, but you have to deal with the fact that you're compromising that. Exactly. Right. And like, personally, that's not something that I want to do. Yeah. Uh, but I also don't judge anybody who really does. Yeah. It's kind of is what it is. I agree. I mean, I think it's just up to each individual person. I also feel like it was a bit of an overreaction and I'm very anti slots, but like the, it's not like everyone is winning in poker either. <laughs> There's gotta be uh, a large percentage of losers in poker too. And I don't know, it's just sort of, everyone has their own agency. Like if they don't want to play slots, they don't need to. I understand it from a branding perspective, but I also think that, and it seems to be a common thing with people reacting to you specifically, that there is a lot of um, entitlement jealousy, rage type of stuff that gets directed at you from people who've been in the industry longer and maybe wish that they had the same opportunities. That's sure. something that I tend to notice. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's sort of a few things going on. I also think like age plays a big role. Uh, when I... When I went deep in the main event in 2010, I was 27, is that right? 28, I was 28 years old. So significantly older than Landon, but very much younger than I am now. And when Full Tilt patched me up, um, I was like bending over backwards to adhere to everything that they said. Like they were, they were like, uh, I, I was wearing a backwards hat, backwards steward hat. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to patch my hat. And they're like, no, you need one uh, on your hat, on your shirt, on this, on that. Like, and everything had to be very precise to what they were saying. And I didn't realize, like, like I do now, how much you can push back against things that you think are unnecessary, mm -hmm. right? Like, yeah. uh, or maybe I was saying I wouldn't wear it on my hat. I think that's what it was was that I wouldn't wear one on my hat, but they were demanding that everybody wore at least two patches in some regard. Yeah. And if you watch the video, I have this like, I have a hat on just like this, and I have this ridiculously large full tilt patch <laughs> that's like not even stuck to the hat, right? Like the corners are coming uh -huh. off because it's so fucking big and it looks ridiculous. <laughs> and it's like now at 40, I understand like just how to navigate these relationships a lot better, yeah. right? If, uh, if I'm a brand sponsor for somebody and they give me a message that I think is like really poor for my audience, I can come back with suggestions and say like, look, this isn't going to work for reason X, Y, and Z. Yeah. I'm willing to work with you and, and make it work in a better capacity. Yeah. But like, as it is, it's not going out. And what you often find is like, they just don't care. That's okay. Like they're just throwing shit against the wall to see what sticks mm -hmm. and you're their model to test through. Yeah. So it's like, uh, if you, if you give them a little bit <laughs> of, there it is. <laughs> no, wrong, wrong video. That was actually just a full tilt hat. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you find the video of Dahamel wow, ruining my fucking Pretty dreams. Look at, that, <laughs> look at that young buck. Look how wow. big that patch is. Yep. Yo, on, how the one on my you chest. You're 28? Yeah. Now imagine I took that patch on my chest and put it on that fucking hat. I, um, <laughs> I, I, I agree, but I think that the sulfur Y patches are too small. Really? Yeah, I mean, look at that They're pet. So like, classy. like, like, like show Berkey's picture. Like, this is so classy. You can, you can hardly see. It is classy. You can hardly see the um, no, no, the the the. the Are you flirting with that lady? Right now. Uh, I was not. That was my first yeah. interview ever. Oh. I'd never <laughs> once been spoken to before. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's that's a, I like that I mean, patch. It's very classy. It 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 is, but I don't think you can tell what it is on. Well, get us some. Get us some bulbs, like the size of that full tilt patch. Mm, maybe we should do that. Yeah. And then wear it on your hat. No, yeah. wear it on my arm. No yeah. hat. I'm going to add .io to it, too. Apollo <laughs> and Rampage think that you look hot. Who thinks I look hot? Apollo and Rampage. Good. Those are the two people in this world that I'm trying to fucking impress. I can't think of anyone else that I want thinking I'm hot.
<laughs> the Apollo and Rampage are my fetish. That's top one, too. <laughs> but I do agree that the patch looks good on the shirt. It almost looks like it's part of the shirt. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Which, yeah. When, in like real Tasteful. Part, in real life, it looks great. But Tasteful. on TV, it doesn't. It doesn't. Do what uh, we want I would it to like do. some bulb patches. If you can make that happen. Just the bulb? Yeah. But don't make it as big as yeah, the one that he had to wear in his hat. And put pubes on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hide pubes in there yeah, somewhere. Yeah, hide pubes in the patch. <laughs> please don't put pubes on it. <laughs> please. I beg of you, please don't. Not real pubes. There's a picture of pubes. There, there probably I, should be some I more understand <laughs> what you meant. Uh, okay, well. That's today's show. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining <laughs> us. Uh, we just wanted to get that PSA out there. Shit, yeah. Conrad just actually apologized oh, for you. CSA. A little CSA. Well, yeah, Conrad, if you, if you a CSA were, would have been incoherent. Yeah. Conrad, exactly. That would have been perfect. Mm -hmm. Conrad, if you were a mar uh, media manager, uh -huh. what would you s tell your client to say in this scenario? Oh, shit. Or even better, you actually were the one who had to come up with the statement. If you had to get a pop in for yourself. Right. What would your oh, CSA yeah, okay. be uh, about the song? What would CSA it? be? So if this was me. All right. <laughs> All right. Listen, guys. Conrad improv is terrifying. You know? <laughs> no, that's why I set it up. Uh, Gu Guapo, just be prepared to cut the mic if, uh, <laughs> if you can anticipate it. Go ahead, Conrad. L listen, guys. As you were. I mean, I don't really. This motherfucker muted me. <laughs> <laughs> so like, you know, I don't even know like to what extent like this is bad. Like this is, it like, looks <laughs> oh, no. bad, but you know, like when it comes down to it, you know Please what this is by. filled with? It's fucking cast, because I'm getting the bag. So we're going to swap this bitch up. We're going to swap this bitch up. This is why Conrad is not a PR the manager. The thing is, right. though, Conrad we're actually would slot this bitch up. He'd be like, all right, we're doing $50 pulls now. Yeah. Well, listen, if they want to pay me in slot credits. Uh, you have to, yeah, you have I to think, complete your, your is that play gonna pay back first. The tabs? I, I do think that uh, playing slots uh, online is... Better than playing slots live right now. Don't you think, uh, Guapo? Is there? Why? Um, um, this is what happened at Circa last night. <laughs> <laughs> this man does not give a fuck. What the This hell? guy did not see. This man is see, ready to hit a jackpot. If he would have saw Landon's tweet, he'd be home playing slots and, and dry. Nah, this guy's on the. This guy's on some Kessler shit. Like he knows something we did don't you, know. Did you oh see this? God. Look at this. This is at That's Circa. That's the sportsbook. That was at the sportsbook. Wow. It's coming through the screen. This is why we don't have barbecue today, That guys. seems dangerous. That's I was going to make barbecue for everybody, but you can't barbecue in the storm. The storm was so storm. sick was last so night. It was so crazy. It was right? so sick. I, I was outside, like, as it was rolling in before it started raining. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, looking up at the sky. And Landon's, like, think we we're, were lifting in the garage. He's, like, what's going on in the sky? I'm, like, that's lightning. Like, it looked like a strobe what's light. What's going on <laughs> in the sky? No. Well, because it wasn't, like, one bolt here and yeah. there. It literally looked like a strobe I light. I said the same it thing. Didn't to it didn't Because we have, like, these little light, these little, like, windows in our living room. You can only see just, like, a just a tiny bit out of it. And I, I just see this, like, these little flashes. I'm like, what is that? Michelle's like, that's lightning. It's been doing that for the last 30 minutes. I'm like, oh, I didn't know. It's and crazy. then it came through. Everything was blowing everywhere. It was wild. It's crazy. I've lived here for four and a half, maybe five years now. And it has rained maybe 10 times max <laughs> yeah it's absurd mm -hmm. i mean it it's obviously more than that but uh the the hard storms like this are rare this is yeah. I, I think this is the wet season mm -hmm. like i think monsoon this is, season they yeah, call yeah. It. yeah um yeah vegas gets weather it's just you know rare it's southern rare. california doesn't and get any this weather intense this is, is good for rare. lake mead Lake yeah. Mead got a lot of water <laughs> bad for the body baggers yeah wow. mm -hmm. it's gonna make our job harder but. <laughs> but what the hell happened at Circa? Like, how the hell? I mean, I don't know. somebody screwed up somewhere. It must for have that been built too quickly or something. Yeah. There was a hole in the, in the roof somewhere. Actually, I was seal at the bar those yesterday. Screens. And as I was, as I was sitting there, <laughs> I was sitting on my laptop and water just started coming really? on my head. So I was actually kind of that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, like, you know, these buildings aren't meant to take on that much water because they're just, yeah. they're just they not used expect. to it. And then. And then when something so rare like well, there's just happens. no, there, there's like little to no drainage in right. in Vegas, right? right. There's That's no why you gutters, see flash floods no, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like when it rains like that in Vegas, you 
literally have to be careful. Also, like the the asphalt and concrete here is so baked mm -hmm. from just being in a hundred degree sun right. every day. It just it doesn't absorb it doesn't anything. absorb it at all. How, right? Houses don't even have gutters. I just realized. No, that. we have gutters. I have gutters. Do you? Yeah. We don't. Hmm. Are you sure? No, you don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, you don't. Uh, no, I do. But it's on the like the awning of the. So like. In my in the backyard, we have like an awning that comes out, and then yeah. there's gutters. Yeah, I know because my dogs pee on them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying he's trying to gaslight you. Pee you on might be like one of ten. He's just like, no, you don't. He's so well, because because wrong. roofs out here aren't uh, they're they're not built for gutters. They're the ceramic shingles. Yeah. Tell it to Brian's mm -hmm. dogs who pee on them. Well, I mean, it yeah. sounds like he just. Well, that's had why a, I said it's it's on the. <laughs> awning. It sounds like you have a secondary awning that has like its own water removal. Probably. Right, but like your actual roofs don't have gutters. That, that's <laughs> Roofs. Correct. Roofs. 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 We just got a six ninety six 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 thousand sixty nine cent nice. donation, but it's for, for the, the slots. slots. Can we do this like on a live stream for the six thousand? Mm. I honestly, it would be right. funny. <laughs> if, it would be funny if we would have that if we would have that conversation and then just cut to a live stream of Landon doing pulls. <laughs> 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 big money, big money, big money, no whammies. Let's go. <laughs> I kind of feel like Landon should have to play slots for this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that we should have to go on excursion with Landon. I kind of think yes. Landon should have to play slots for a living now. Listen, <laughs> maybe you should just transition. Like, big too, move. Too bad we didn't have Je Jenna on today. I mean, she loves the slots. I tried. Oh, yeah. I tried for Friday. She, she'd have a lot of opinions she on slots. She said no? She's very yeah. pro slots. Uh, she said too, too short of notice, maybe next week. <laughs> she should have. Uh, yeah. But we won't, we're actually dark next Friday, so it's going to be a while. Um, but yeah, big shout out to, to Jenna, Jen Fry. Yesterday was her birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Jen! Jen. Oh. Don't know what kind of debauchery that debauchery debauchery debauchery. debauchery. Shuri, not sh debauchery. debauchery debauchery. You can be wrong. It's okay. Sh I I wouldn't pronounce it that way. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying I wouldn't pronounce <laughs> it that way. How does he do way. it? I know you debauchery. know what? it. It I I almost nearly lost because the other day I was I am PMSing by the way. Uh, <laughs> we we always know. I know and. <laughs> When you man, oh, that's why you made the bet. So, ah! much, so much easier. Wow, we're gonna be that that yeah, fucking no, because I was in, Fuck, I was, man, I was, she I gets was, like a two week head start. That is so funny. I don't do a right, two week head so start. So, for the context, <laughs> do you really want yeah, the context? I don't care. <laughs> um, I made a I'm free rolling Berkey and Landon one thousand dollars each. You're feeling the gym, the garage gym. I'm not free rolling the gym because it's. That implies that it will be spent and that so, <laughs> um, I'm free rolling both of them that I will not uh, sleep with anyone who's not worth my time. <laughs> so oh, and if I do. It's a lot sharper now. I'm glad we didn't actually. Uh, I'm glad it's a free roll. Let's put it that way. Yeah. I would feel dumb if we had. Wagered well, on like it's time. it's lifetime. I need. I didn't say an end date, so well, I, that's I true. literally that's true, cannot but... sleep with him again. You know, it's like it's like well, you uh, can. It's just a pretty penny. I'm not gonna pay two thousand dollars <laughs> to sleep with a man. Well, the man. best part about this is, could you imagine? Berkey thought he had a bet going, so you could have easily made a thousand. He thought yeah. he had a bet. Yeah, <laughs> I was too busy yelling at the guy in front of me. Who yeah, had he was four four ways on. But like, I knew what was going on. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? By the way, Google said I'm right. It is debauchery. Debauchery. God damn it! I almost did. <laughs> debauchery. <laughs> Debauchery. Uh, sure. Yeah. We won't hear it though, right? <laughs> they heard uh, yeah. it. I mean, we'll hear it. They won't hear it. Or they'll oh. hear it. We won't. Um, oh, yeah. The could you imagine being the guy that cost you two thousand uh, dollars? That uh, would be the biggest ego stroke. No, it's not though. The thing is, it's not an ego stroke. It's a more uh, speaks to my lack of discipline. What, you're you're what, 100 percent no, right that that's what's it's what not, amazing. It's not is if he special, paid the two thousand yeah, dollars, or that if, something yeah. is yeah, special. Yeah, if he paid the two thousand. That's the thing. Ooh. That's the funny part. Of this <laughs> now right? that's an angle. No, he yeah. didn't pay anything. Actually, no, but, he gets what? everything for free. No, but what if he he's paid? like, what no. if he, he said, said I'll cover your bet. Yeah, and I'll cover your bet. Fine. You know what that is? You know what that is? That's a win, win, win. Well, yeah. It's not it's a It's not a L. It's a tie. Honestly, it's no. a tie. That's the tie we've yeah. been looking for. That's the tie. Yeah. It's a wash. And, and win, win, win tie. You know yeah. what? There's win, win, win situations. That's yeah. fine. There's so many W's here. Right. And he uh. wins too. Well, 
he ties, I guess. And also, you guys <laughs> win. Mean, the man barely likes to look at me. I don't think that he would ever pay two thousand dollars to sleep with well, me. Let's not let's not turn this into self-loathing. I mean, you're doing great. Because imagine. I know I'm great. Imagine the ego great. stroke that you would then get, knowing that a man paid two thousand dollars. Sure. To a cause, really. Not I'd even have, to you, to a cause. I don't think I'd have trouble charging $2,000 for a night. No, but that's me. the thing is you're not charging yeah. because it's True. going to the gym. You guys it's would going. indirectly be pimps. No. You would. Wow. <laughs> Very indirect. No. Very indirect. Like, no, 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 no. no. So what no. we told her is that we would spend it all on gym equipment. 100%. Oh, which, okay. Which in, in essence was a little bit of incentive for her because then it would give her more equipment to work out that uh, booty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, or turd, turd cutter. cutter. Yeah, <laughs> turd cutter as she refers to it. <laughs> TC. Oh, I'm on the quest man. for a fat turd cutter. <laughs> I'm on the quest. And Must be Friday, I'm huh? I'm fuckboy free. <laughs> <laughs> Must be Fuck Friday. Fuckboy free Fridays. Fuck yes! Free Friday, we finally baby. named our Friday episodes. Man, I've been waiting for... How many weeks have we been at this? Is this where we're... Oh. And, and then we start asking questions about our personal lives? I have them right here. I know, that's what it's I'm saying. Oh, this is where you know. Huh? It's gonna be fuckboy free. Friend? Frey. Frey? Yeah. Jenna. Okay, her last name's Fry. Fry. <laughs> Fry. 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 How does every episode, he finds a way to like... He's known this woman for like eight years. F-R-E-Y. It's easily Frey. I mean, yeah, I don't disagree. It's not the Frey. <laughs> I don't disagree just because there's a band called The Frey, but... But that's that being said, she pronounces it Fry. That's F-R-A-Y. That's F-R-A-Y. You know she's wrong? That's Friday. She's just wrong. No, 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 right now. 1,000. It's F-R-A-Y. I think it's F R A Y. You think F R E Y? E Y. Are you talking about the Frey? Jenna? I'm talking about the Frey, the band. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Baby, right now. You <laughs> fucking, you were action stealing bitches. We, we weren't talking about the we same thing. Yes, we were. About, no, we weren't. Frey, Jenna. Yeah. F -R -E -Y. It's, that's F R E Y. E Y. That's E Y. Yeah. But it's it's Frey. God. Anyways. No, it's Frey. So. It's Fuckboy Free Fridays right. <laughs> until further notice when they become... Until next Friday. <laughs> <laughs> until... What is this? Fuckboy Island. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Wait, that's a thing? Yeah. That's Nikki Glazer hosting. Yeah, Brian Lamanna hosting. I host. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? What my, do you double, mean my doppelganger what do you mean Nick, What do you mean Nikki Glazer? It's you. Yeah. She's you so hot. You guys are Thanks, so man. drunk. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, we understand Appreciate you're that. attracted to Lamanna, but... Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's very obvious at this point. It's very obvious. <laughs> you were about to drop mm -hmm. trowel for the female version of him. She's so... I, I literally <laughs> tried to get on uh, Raya just to meet her. On what? Raya, it's dating like out. a celebrity dating app. But out. you have to like somehow Jeff me. Platt's on there, and I can't make my way. <laughs> Don't think Jeff Platt is way more of a celebrity than you. Yeah. Joke Don't anyway. He's way Platt more of like a celebrity than no, no, no. you. He's better looking. We, no, offense. no, he's definitely better looking <laughs> that's, for sure. That's Jeff. Stand up for me, please, Platt. That, that that's is exactly true. what I did. I'm gonna get to see Jeff today. Yeah, and he's on Raya for a good reason. Maybe you can get him to refer you. <laughs> he almost uh, he did refer me. I still couldn't get on. They rejected you. Uh, they're they're still waiting. Oh, you're pending. I'm in the queue. Yeah, you're in the queue. To the cloud. He almost got kicked off. How? I, I, I want to have him on to tell these stories, but... <laughs> I would love that. Uh, Jeff, if you're listening, if, if you ever do make your way on, like, it's very frowned upon to take screenshots. And I guess he matched <laughs> with somebody famous and took a screenshot and they warned him. Wait, they know when you take a screenshot? Yeah, it's like yeah. Snapchat. Yeah, but what if you just, Look like, you have a different phone with you? Huh? That's you can just good have to a different know phone in case I ever You could have there. a different phone with you. That would be smart, but yeah. apparently Stand Up For Me Please Jeff Platt was... Uh, take a photo of the phone. Correct. Right. Right. Yeah, if you, just if, screenshot taking. Yeah, if, sit if, down you're, for me, if you're into clout chasing like that, I guess, you know, you could take a... I would want to <laughs> send it to everybody. Sure. Yes. Sure. <laughs> this is why you will not be on the app. I know. Although not I will yet. say you probably almost definitely have a faster path to it than me. Yeah, I think I'll be on there before how, you are. How long yeah. do you think we would all know... Uh, if Berkey matched with Nikki Glaser, like 0. 0.3 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> no shot. I w you no, wouldn't that, say they were? That's one of those things that I would completely keep to myself. Liar. Unless no. I actually got impossible. to meet her in real life. Yeah, you got it's an actual impossible. date. Lie. Yeah, if it turned into a real date, then you'd be like. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, you know, you're probably just getting scammed. True. There's, there's a How lot. How do they allow scammers on there and not you? Yeah, no, there's probably not, they don't but allow fake who knows? People. I mean. You probably have to give your social security number or something. No, no, I don't Jeez. think so. I do think that if I recall, you have to submit your social media and you have, I think it's like a and like minimum. post something from there to prove it's you. Or... Yeah, I think it's like a minimum of X amount of followers. I can't remember what it was, like maybe 5K or 10K, something like that. Um, can I apply? Can you what? Can I apply? Oh, I thought you said, can I buy? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you should apply. I should apply. 
Platt said Vegas Raya is a tragedy. I believe it because Vegas. So I'll go to it, LA and use it. Vegas in and of itself is a tragedy. So yeah, I imagine the celebs here aren't exactly yeah. kicking it. I think I'm probably over the dating app thing because I realized that I don't time. think I genuinely want to meet someone from there. Or I, period. Or period, <laughs> yeah. I was talking to Nicole. Nicole's my best friend. I was talking to her last night and she was like, I was like, yeah, I think that like, I don't know, this person's like not really boyfriend material. She's like, but you don't, do you even want a boyfriend? I'm like, no, <laughs> not really. Sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, it a lot is. lot of complaining. And you have to like, I don't know, deal with another person all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's what I keep coming back to. Sounds it's like, like a lot of problems hmm, Relationship. That sounds novel. Let me give this a little bit more thought. I have to answer to another person. I have to... You know, if you really enjoy spending Here time go. with them. Here we fucking go. <laughs> Here we fucking go. <laughs> tell us. Tell us. It's not work at all. Yeah. <laughs> this is the tortoise <laughs> on relationships. Yeah, but like, someone's all up in your space all the time. Yeah. That's, that's not true. You live in the same house. You sleep in the same bed. They expect yeah. to see you. Sit on yeah, the same and couch. And I've never felt like overwhelmed. I feel smothered just that. talking about it. <laughs> yeah, but you know. That's why I, I go for people who actually wouldn't care if I was run over by a bus the next day. <laughs> okay. Because. Well, that's not good either. That's my type. Well, because then <laughs> they don't expect anything from me. And if I died, they wouldn't even care. Yeah. Yeah, you that's know? the dream. It's attractive. That's the dream. No, it's terrible. I'm so <laughs> <Yeah>. over that. <laughs> I want someone to want you but not need you. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I think that, yeah, that's... Yeah, no, that's true. Well, yeah, right. I want it to be... Yeah, I don't want them to need me. Right. But you want them to want you. But also be yeah, obsessive but, at but the same yes, time. Yes, but my actions would say otherwise considering I only go for people who vocally tell me they don't want me. <laughs> no, they tell you they don't need you. Right. No, they literally tell me I would never date you. Yeah. Well, you're, you're conflating wanting and dating. Yeah. Those aren't the same. Yeah. Necessarily. Well, dating is more needing, right? Can't live without you. Gotta lock you up. You, me, forever. Yeah, they just cock block me from other people. Right, right. Yeah, it's more of but a... But then they refuse to date You know me. what it is? It's more of a, a, a layaway program, so to speak. This might be a little before the time. Remember back when we were poor and Christmas was coming up and it was like June and your parents would be like, oh, I know Brian, he wants that Super Nintendo for Christmas. I'm going to put it on layaway. Yep. Yeah, layaway. And you go to Kmart and you yep. take that Super Nintendo and you take it back to the counter and you say, I want to put this on layaway. They're like, okay, $20, please. And then like every week thereafter, you have to keep showing up with $20 to keep your shit on layaway. That's kind of mm -hmm. what they're doing to you. Yeah. Only with sex. Yeah, <laughs> with the bare minimum. Right. Yeah. Right. Like once a week they show up, they're like, I got your dick. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay, that'll meet the minimum requirements to keep this on layaway for yes, another week. Exactly. <laughs> and then I just feel my self worth crumbling. Right. Until, yeah. until, it really does all come until back until to that. Until I have to make it? a bet and free roll my friends. <laughs> <laughs> We're here for you. You know, We're here boost you up. I love this. So really yeah, How the guys. fuck was I not in the car for this fucking free roll opportunity? Because you were busy getting empanadas. <laughs> What's in the difference? It just came off the tab anyway. I don't, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> good. Yeah. Melissa's like, and I will bet Conrad that I will pay down his tab by 1%. <laughs> no, no one has that much money. That's true. <laughs> no. Apparently, I did once. No, you didn't. Once. At one point. Point. One time you had a windfall, but then it got taken away by who the do you think? Who do you think's in charge what? of the tab? It's true. You had, to, time, you had to put that tab on layaway for someone else. <laughs> <laughs> now I do. Yeah. Gave all my goddamn money to Conrad. <laughs> <laughs> Spent it all on empanadas. <laughs> the empanada fund. I don't know that line. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> what? We do, uh, what the tab is not shirt. very far away. We do all have new custom made. Uh, themed t-shirts. Don't say all of us. Cool not all of us. Don't say all of us. Well, you can wear chins. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That would be funny if that I wore chins. Funny. We all just wear each other's shirt. Uh, yeah. Maybe maybe we pick a day before we all leave for Florida to, to get it going. Maybe mm. Monday or Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That sounds good. Those shirts yeah, I'll wear chins. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Just Shout out to whoever fucking around. sent them because yeah, you didn't yeah. put your name or no, I think his name was Steven. He replied yeah, he to responded us. responded in Twitter. In, oh. On Twitter. Well, thanks, yeah. Steven. <laughs> I'll have to go back to the thread and make sure. It might not be Steven. I, yep. I might have just pulled right. that out of my ass. Well, thanks, guy, that responded in Twitter. But yeah, we got, a, we got a big trip coming up. We are out of here Thursday. Are you, are you going for sure, Melissa? You're going too, Conrad? 
Yes. Okay, book in the house today. Tuesday, Wednesday, right? I Landon's going early. You're welcome to go whenever you want. I'm going Thursday. Yeah. Uh, so there will at least be a pod at a bare minimum with me and Lamana. Um. Oh man. That'll be. <laughs> 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 good one. You guys are in for a treat if it's just me and Lamana. We're gonna. Gonna, it's not gonna be a treat. It's gonna be you guys reminiscing about Pittsburgh things. We're just gonna talk things about things that nobody else knows about, what you're talking we're about. We're literally Pittsburgh just gonna sports. talk about the '80s in Pittsburgh yep. all day long. That's You're gonna it. be naming all these different people that no one's ever heard of and knows. Mm -hmm. and by no one, you mean you and Landon. Our audience our is audience old. Knows our audience who... is very old. Average it, age, no, like, I'm about, like our like friends, your friends and stuff. Friends. Oh, well, yeah, we're gonna be talking about Skimpy and yeah, Gumby and yeah. Jace and Gumby. Text me today. No way. Yeah, saw uh, the WPT Cash game on when he was at the gym this morning. And he's like, hey, man, what's up? Been a long time. I was at the gym this morning, and this was on the TV. He sends me a picture. I'm like, wow, that's great. Gumby, how have you been? How's the family? How's the kids? You know, what's going on? Uh, it's, it's nice to hear from you. You know, what, what's new, man? He's like, oh, nothing much. Uh, things are good. When did, they, when, when did you record that? And I go, I don't know, like a year ago. It took forever for it to get out. I'm not really sure why. He's like, yeah, that's cool. That was it. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, like, talk to you in another 10 years. All right, years. man, been good catching up. We're <laughs> yeah, best friends cool. there for a long time. <laughs> yeah. It's tough, man. You know, he's got a whole other life with, you know. Yeah, that's what kids. happens when you get married at 24. Yeah. It's just like, you know, sure. He's got what, like 30, I, 40 kids? I think three. <laughs> I, ironically enough, uh, literally after I'd finished texting with him, I get a DM from Jeno. <laughs> and I had the uh, audacity and the courage to open it. <laughs> and it was a tame one. It just said, getting married at 24 is the equivalent of leaving a party at 8 p.m. And I thought, how fitting. Yeah, <laughs> Come exactly. Come got married wow. at 24. That's, that's perfect. Kid missed out on all of it. She sent me one today. It was, um, it, it, it's, it was a, a little baby. It said, first time seeing fireworks. And the baby was just in awe, like... And she's like, this is still, this is you to, still you today. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, what, it's what you look like when you see kings. Yeah, I was going to say. What? When you see kings. Kings, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got kings. I got kings. I really hope it's kings. captured. I uh, really hope that we get I, I can't imagine it. how we didn't get that. Yeah, like, I know. I, just... I mean, it's on him. The camera's <laughs> locked. He just like whiplashes up. Uh, <laughs> looking around like, what's the action that took place? Yeah. Like, that's going to be... The problem is I'm ever. never paying attention, so I'm like, oh, I got to play a hand now? Where are we at? That's going to be the best meme forever. <laughs> it's going to be oh, so man. fucking great. Uh, yeah, maybe we can just talk baseball the whole time next yeah. week. Oh, my God. Finally get in yeah, that. Yeah, it's a real mm -hmm. fan favorite. That mid-season... I mean, the trade <laughs> oh, deadline's man. coming. Wow. Be here Sunday, I think. I don't know Monday. why you insist nope. on torturing The Yankees just got audience. Andrew Bell to dun 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 Nelly. I know. <laughs> Did. So you I know what that means? They're not probably not going to get Brian Reynolds. Yeah. Well, that's good. Definitely yeah. not. Brian so he, Reynolds. So, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Brian Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Brian Reynolds. Brian yeah. Reynolds. The the movie star. Ryan Reynolds. Phil Collins. Who else they got? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Pat Thomas oh, came man. back. Yes. You you saw the um the tweet I put in the in the group chat where it was like the anniversary of the Pirates coming back down eight to two. Uh, with two outs in the ninth, yeah, like 21 sick. years ago, culminating to Brian Giles hitting a grand slam. Yesterday, they're down eight to two in the ninth, and they lose eight seven. But, <laughs> but, I mean, but wouldn't that have been unbelievable if they did it twice? Oh, it would have just been day? proof of the sim. Yeah, that's what, exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, yeah. there's a glitch in the matrix, and yeah, we we, we it. see it daily. Just start opening your eyes, sheeple. Yeah. It's all over the place. Right. The, the sim is amongst us. Mm -hmm. Landon is a child of said he is sim. The child. Don't question him about his slot play. Right. He <laughs> yeah. could see into the future. Exactly. He is the Matrix. Can we really right. just go on a slot adventure with Landon in Florida? Just no. like a little. Have you ever gambled like slots and stuff like that? No. It's not fun. <laughs> no. It's if just we're pain, doing it, pain, we're doing it pain, in Vegas pain. and and Jen is involved. Jen is going to okay. take no, Landon it's, to all the spots. It's fun. I, so I went <laughs> um, when Nicole came to visit, we went and played like the penny slots and she <laughs> so we put in like 20 bucks each <clears throat> and we would get like half our money back and just be like screaming like yeah <laughs> and these like this like old asian couple was like trying to see which jackpot we were hitting and it was just like 
one dollar or like <laughs> 65 cents they're like not even max play yeah. <laughs> it's fucking great we used to uh when we were young and went to like seneca niagara and stuff we would pull like a thousand dollars amongst like five or six of us and we'd do 10 pools in a hundred dollar slot mm -hmm. and that was always exhilarating did you ever hit anything yeah we hit a bunch of like small jackpots like uh, i think our biggest one might have been like 10k and then it became a problem because of taxes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, who's going to take the, yeah, yeah, yeah. who's going to take the, uh, the taxes, the, yeah. the tax burden. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those were, uh, those were fun times. I, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. I, I used to be such a degen with them. Now I feel so disillusioned. It's just <laughs> sort of like you can feel the negative EV of it as you're playing. Every it. pool, you're just like, I don't know if you, if Twerky kind of said it under his breath, but I don't know if you heard him. He's like, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> Backlash coming back. Yeah, I mean, I was I was like, I'm just saying, guys, I wouldn't recommend doing this. This is not an endorsement. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess we should talk about the Mega Millions. Oh my, my god. god. Did it um, hit? Speaking of uh, negative EV plays. Well, actually, Maybe it, actually, it's probably it's, positive. It's not. EV yeah, with point. a billion. Well, it, so it depends. It it just depends on the probability of you splitting. Um. But I think we were talking yesterday with tax implications and everything else. Once it climbs above 800 million, theoretically, uh, it's a plus EV play to just play all the numbers or all mm, the combinations. Right. Which is crazy. Pretty wild. Yeah. Pretty fucking wild. How did it not hit? It's at 1.1. 1. 1.1? 1. 1. 1. 1. Yeah. 1.28 oh, 1. billion. 1.28 now? I've seen... Man, I really don't know Wait, what I was watching. I can't it? remember... I can't remember if option. it was a documentary or if it was something I was reading, but there are like hedge funds that form around these major jackpots once they become plus EV. Mm -hmm. And they try to like run algos and, uh, you know, basically get it to a point where they are favorites, like small favorites right. to, to show a return. I guess if it's, if it's plus EV, every ticket you buy is a... Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. But... But in theory, if you could buy all all the tickets, mm -hmm. you just auto profit. And, I, and I'm sure they run numbers on which ones are the uh, like what numbers are picked the most, and then they don't pick those, Correct. so you don't have to split. Like like um, I heard where they said pick all like if you're gonna pick numbers, pick all numbers higher than 31 because people do birthdays and that kind of stuff. So that's you're, you're sure. less likely to uh, split with somebody if you have unless the winning numbers. number is a single digit number. Well, of course, right? But then, I mean. That's all random anyway, so. So the other day I read an article that mm. Raisin Cane's um, owner bought 15K worth of tickets, I think it was, and it was for the employees. I, I like heard the that, The only yeah. thing I could think of, if you hit that ticket, you have no more employees. <laughs> 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 that's true. Aren't true. That many raising Jobs are canes. open. There aren't right. that many raising canes. Like, this is just yeah. not. Wait, wait, wait. That's so, it was a pool for the employees, correct? Not just one employee. Yeah, for a pool for the employees. Yeah, yeah. But there's okay. just not that many raising for canes. At, out all there. For raising all the employees. employees? Yeah. Yes, yes. In existence? Yes. So, maybe they employ, let's call it 3,000 people. Nah, maybe Gotta more. Gotta be more than that. 10? 10,000? Well, I don't know how many. Hmm. I have no idea. There's 3,100 employees. In all raising cases. Wow! How no. fucking good am I? <laughs> are they are they only on like the West Coast? Great, or only in... Landon's mom is currently buying uh, tickets. Uh, they're definitely. <laughs> we don't have them back home for sure. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, three thousand employees uh, split between a billion, you know, post taxes, call it seven hundred million. Yeah, they're doing okay. Yeah, I'll figure out what wow. it is. <laughs> it's like two million each. Wait, so what is the alternative of the cash option? They give you money, each. money every... Money. What? Oh, no. If there's after, 3, after taxes, there's like seven, 700 3, million. 3,000 employees, it's less than a million each. It's like 300,000 each. Yeah, it's 225,000. Oh, yeah, two, yeah, yeah, sorry. I yeah. won too many zeros. Uh, but you still have zero fucking employees coming back to work. No, that's not true. <laughs> Quarter million's barely a windfall. <laughs> it, oh, <no. laughs> right, but... yeah. Yeah. When you work in a raising canes, you're definitely going to. Not you're be you're certainly going to have fewer yeah. cashiers. That's mm -hmm. that's obvious, right? Uh, <laughs> but your your upper management's probably going to stick around. Probably just the CEO. <laughs> yeah, I don't think a, he's probably involved. Why would a general manager stick around? Yeah, that guy. Well, that I I mean I don't know what a general manager's career path looks like, but I assume it's Maybe a pretty he wants stable to become job. An artist. 
Well, yeah, sure. It's, <laughs> it's a quarter million, not 2.5. Or Yeah, it's like not 2.5 million. Yeah, but million. if he bought like Elon Musk coin with that. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, that I mean. Doge. Then it's like an 100x. Sure. There, <laughs> and he there would be some that left, for sure. Uh, I would think there would be some that would stay too. It's like, it'd be like giving a teacher a quarter million dollars. I think a lot of them would just stay. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's a little bit different though because they. People don't, yeah. I mean, they get a lot of benefits. Yeah. The teacher's probably more financially. Smart. No. No, they, they don't Teachers pay. get teachers shit really on in this country. No, 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 no. They're probably, as people, they're more financially probably better, more educated. I don't think. I mean, they get better benefits. Like their, their health benefits, their insurance benefits, their time off, all that stuff is better than most comparable jobs. But their actual pay is like they also pretty might meager. Just like teaching. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's that's really what it comes down to. Is I think there's a bigger passion for teaching than there is, you know, Gen- managing general yeah. managing a grocery Raising store. Kids. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Raising kids. Like, fuck this shit, yeah. Grandma. I'm going to Target. Yeah, they, <laughs> hot take. Yeah. yeah, they pay ten percent more. So I'm playing poker today. Yeah. Wow. I actually forgot. It's been a while, man. Yeah. It has been a while. You guys, you guys can uh, clap it up. The yeah. Man, all right. Poker yeah. In poker. Three weeks. Are you gonna gamble cash it up? in months? What? You're gonna gamble it up, right? No gamble, no future, baby. Gamble, no future. <laughs> gamble, no future. Yeah. We're out there. Uh, my lineup is gonna be fun one. I think it's me, Shulman, Negranu, Jake Daniels, David <laughs> Levy, uh, Jimmy D. Who's David Levy? Is that related to Eugene Levy? No. <laughs> <laughs> Dad from American maybe Pie. Yeah. maybe a distant cousin. Uh, no. uh, you'll know by uh, the eyebrows. Asking? David, David Levy. Honestly, I'll be shocked if he's actually on the show. If he's actually related to Eugene Levy. No, oh, I would be shocked by that too. <laughs> but he doesn't really play much No Limit. Uh, he plays some tournaments, but like he doesn't play No Limit Cash at all. So I would kind of be surprised if he's there. But he was. I, I was told he'll be there. Um, that's a, oh, yes, there he is. Then, <laughs> yep. Look, that's. Can yep. you believe Landon's never seen this movie? Incredible. Oh, man. American I've Pie. watched oh, every single okay, American Pie movie. One. Nadia. Woo! I'm actually pretty surprised. She used to play poker. Yeah, she did. I, really? I played with yeah. her before. In World I was Series in an elevator night. with her once. I've I wish I had that movie, no. courage to talk. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's right. It was the same thing. I was like, it. man, if I ever get like at her table, I'm going to like talk to her and like. I got her table, clammed right up. Oh, yep. no. Yep. Yeah, oh, yeah, of course. Oh, so you're I couldn't think so of a more awkward place. Like, yeah. I could not think of a more awkward place uh, to meet somebody that you desperately want to meet than an elevator. Yeah. Like, the, it is like a no talking yeah, zone. Yeah, it is. To the fullest. That's a tough one. And you, if you start talking to them, you don't know when they're going to get off. <laughs> it's going to be like, okay. It's also can- just like, it, it's, it's really presented as a trap. Yeah. And like the <laughs> other person is just always going to be so on guard. Yes. We're just like, hey, you're Shannon Elizabeth, aren't you? It's like, yeah. okay, creep. I'm off on the next fucking floor. Exactly. <laughs> five, 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 five. Exactly. Get me out of here. Like, yeah. It's big yet, fan. Yet they call it an elevator pitch. Well, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> you get somebody in the cage for three minutes, you got to try not to scare them. Yeah. yeah. It's so um, Please don't talk. <laughs> The the last players will be Bob Bright and then Jimmy D. Uh, Guapo, if you if you want to search Jimmy D. Millionaire Matchmaker, uh, we can let people. That know sounds like a pretty good lineup. Matchmaker. I was yeah. playing two That's five with Bob lineup. Bright at like three a.m. the other day. The man <laughs> the, loves the, the game. The man just he's loves awesome. the game. He really does not care as long as he's playing the game. Yo, the yeah. best shit ever yeah. happened. He gets it all in. <laughs> they run it out, and he flips over nines, nine on the river. The other guy flips over his tens. You see the pain in his eyes. Sure. And Bob is just staring him down. Savage. You would just think this motherfucker has the coldest soul. Because he's just looking at him and I start dying laughing. Because I just think he's getting <laughs> pure fucking entertainment and joy out of this. I can't believe he didn't accidentally needle him. Like, yeah. huh, uh, that was a pretty good hand. Because <laughs> <laughs> like the 300 I, bucks means nothing yeah, to him. It was like 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh, he's reading, pretty lucky his, there. he's yeah, reading his newspaper. He's mm-hmm. just staring him down. Down like a savage. I'm like, I started dying laughing. This is uh, Jimmy D. Good. This is Jimmy D. Uh, I actually played him heads up at 2550 that same year. He now looks like the bearded man here in the uh, the lower What's right. What's going hand on corner. in that middle photo? He looks like he's seen a ghost. Uh, yeah. Can I mean, click on that. That doesn't look like him. Wait, wait, what? He was the same was, person. Yeah. I mean, this is what the hell. This happened? was like 11 or 12 years ago. Can you click on that middle photo? 
The one where he looks like he's... Wow, what happened there? He really does look like he's <laughs> seen the ghost. Eyes. Yeah. He did wow. a little too much of that. A lot of cocaine. He did a little too much of that in those nose beers. So yeah, wow. <laughs> a lot of cocaine for wow. sure. Uh, but wow. yeah, back back when he's on Millionaire Matchmaker, when he was a young spry fellow, uh, I played him 2550 heads up at the Sun Coast uh -huh. while we were waiting Sun to get the uh, Hollis's game. Really? Yeah, beat him out of 10K. He paid me in Alante chips. I didn't know what the fuck I was going to do with those. In what chips? <laughs> The Alianti or, or Alanti or whatever the Alianti. fuck the casino next door is. The Ali Ali Oxen. The Ali uh, Alianti. I walked over there like terrified they weren't going to cash them. <laughs> I never even heard of that casino. You mean Rampart? Not Rampart. Rampart casino is right next to Sun Coast. Uh, no, Alianti is like all the way north. All, it's like yeah. Centennial Hills. Like. Chris kind of knows that. <laughs> uh, maybe it is the Rampart. Rampart then. Was, is yeah. right next to it. Oh, Sun Coast is you guys here, are right? speaking Either another way. language or something. Either what way, words it was, are you uh, saying? <laughs> kind of an off-brand kind of place. Uh, <laughs> little off-brand, yeah. <laughs> I'd be scared shitless getting 10K of fucking Aliante chips, all right? If, <laughs> like, do if they if even a guy have looks 10K? at you right, yeah. like that, uh, you're taking the chips. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it was he, a free roll. He may eat it's your a, face I, after. I, it was a free roll. <laughs> I didn't know anything about Heads Up, but I knew I wasn't going to lose that, uh, that match. Yeah. Is, is that um, how you're going to pay back the tab, Connor, with Alianti chips? Wow. <laughs> yeah. He'll never go to fucking cast them, so it'll just be like it's paid. So I'm just going <laughs> to make some counterfeit Alianti chips. It's kind of true. Speaking of, yeah, this reminds me um, that we need to find a drag makeup artist mm. for Berkey. You get reminded of this often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Put it on the tab. Put it on the prop bet tab. We'll see what it gets paid. <laughs> So if you in the chat, if you guys know anyone who does makeup in the Vegas area, let us know. You should talk to Katie Lindsay. I'm sure she has somebody who oh, has yeah, speed I know up. a few people in the entertainment business. I bet I could. I bet, <laughs> no, I do. I bet I could, uh, I bet I could find somebody. Hmm? Either that or I'll just do it. But we You've need to go again. Artist, I'm right, color right? matched. I'm Nikki, not a makeup. You, you have one, though. I have one because I'm Nikki Glaser. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Nikki Glaser is a makeup artist. No, nope, she's that beautiful. Yep. Come on. <laughs> you guys are <laughs> delusional. She doesn't need one. I love how you just hit on Lamato all day. She's that stunning. That's so great. All right, we're gonna we're gonna close with uh, I got this deck of questions yes. from from a a thing. From a, a thing. thing. Conrad, you choose. Okay. There are six categories: life, self, education, world, relationships, or random. Random. I knew yeah, it was gonna yeah, be yeah, random. I, was I random. almost didn't give the random as an option. <laughs> Because I was so positive that that would exactly be what he chose. Well, that's that, that's deny? clearly that's roll clearly it. the pop in section of yeah, the. There's nothing shit. random about Connor. All right, the random question is. <laughs> Here we go. Or you should have you, you put it on there because you knew he was gonna pick it, and that's what you wanted to ask us. That would have been Alpha Brain Strat. The other one I would have picked was Life, for what it's worth. Okay, I'm gonna look at the Life one too because this question's not super interesting. Right, not well, super pop relationships. In. Ooh, okay, this one's good. We'll start with you, Melissa. Can we start with the... Actually, we'll start with Conrad. Can we start with the premise yeah. of what these questions are from? And uh, Well, it's not, it's not like very profound. It's just a game. Well, okay. So one, there's a game. There you go. Uh, there's a game called Worst Self, and it's similar to Cards Against Humanity. And we'll play it one day on, on the set. Uh, so basically, you just pick a prompt, and it says, like, uh, would be late to his own funeral. <laughs> And Not then perfect. the group votes who that, <laughs> who that would, be. would be. And it would be me, of course. Right. It would be, be you. Uh, oh, you. No, no. I would Berkey. be late to my own funeral? No, yeah. it would be Berkey. I'm, I'm never late. 30 minutes me early to everything. He is. Conrad, yeah. so well, has this guy shaking his head? Right. I have never been late. You, you are said, early. Conrad is so... <laughs> Conrad is so excited to be somewhere from. and do something. He's always early. He'll yeah. get there right. six so hours true. early. Well, Berkey no doesn't reason. give a shit, and he's thirty minutes late. Well, Matt had a party, <laughs> and I came two hours <laughs> early. I'm like, dude, none of the food's ready. He's like, oh, like, can I'm you like, leave? I can't make the brisket like I can't make the fat Aww. render any quicker than. <laughs> oh, I gotta go. Put, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll be in my car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to get it popping with Conrad. So anyway, this is not a game. This is just a, um, a deck of questions of we the six categories. We should to Espen yesterday. I forgot. Yeah. We've been going for so long, I, I, I completely yeah. forgot. Next time. But yeah, this is something that I want to start doing when we have guests end the interview with one of these questions. Uh, so Conrad's on the hot seat first. What's your happiest memory from your childhood? Aww. My happiest memory. Um, wow. That's a tough one. That's, it that, is because I just had my mom passed question. away 
like, I don't know, a long time ago, 10 years ago, seven years ago. And I, her, her birthday was yesterday. So, like, I was kind of thinking make him cry a lot on the of podcast. Them. Um, I'm not quite sure. Honestly, I have so many good memories. You pick one. I can't. I just, uh, just you know, pick one of them. I have one. Probably when my little brother was born. And that's like not Aww. even my childhood. Wait, how like, old were you? I was 16. So, no. That's all I was when my nephew was born. Yeah. Very weird to be around a baby at 16. Yeah, you know the fun, I would best imagine. part about that? I dropped him on his head straight on his face within one month. Yep. That sounds about right. <laughs> it was uh-huh. early in the morning. My mom was getting ready for work and he was crying. And he was in like the, so you, you threw the him car seat. You shut him up. So he's yeah. in the car seat. <laughs> so I gave him a little rock and he wasn't oh, locked in. <laughs> you gave him a so little rock. So his gates just go bloop. <laughs> yeah, they're a little top heavy at that age, you know? The, the head really leads. <laughs> Of course oh, you do. Yeah. No, that's, that sounds like one of your happiest memories as a child. Like how happy you are now. I mean, yeah. I, have, I don't know. I think probably my happiest memory is when my little brother was born. Like, yeah. Very sweet. Oh. My sister and I are not close at all, but there's a picture. Uh, we're a year and a half apart, so she was, she was an infant, and I was probably like one and a half. And I was like standing over her crib, holding her, her hand like this, Aww. and they got a picture of it. And it's hilarious to both of us. Because neither of us have any emotional attachment to each other. Right. <laughs> point, yeah. Yeah. So it's like we look back and it's like, oh, look, we cared about one another at one point in time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was yours, Melissa? I went to um, a Backstreet Boys concert with my dad and he <laughs> let me hold his lighter. Wow. Dangerous. I was like five. Yeah, it is dangerous. And also he got me a Swiss Army knife for my fifth birthday. <laughs> And I proceeded to try and hold a piece of paper in one hand like this mm-hmm. and then cut the middle of it. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, you know. How's your palm? Yeah, right in my palm. Yeah. Oh. Actually, I have a little scar. Of course you do. The funnest time I had in my childhood, though, would have been going 12 years old in Cancun with my mom at Senior Frogs, getting drunk, <laughs> drinking jello shots. And at going- 12 years old? And going down the lagoon slide. At 12 years old? I was that's out the, of it. That's one of the memories of you first getting it popping. <laughs> yes. It yeah, was, he did get it popping on that slide. Been, it's been popping ever since. The other kids were like, yeah. whoa, why is this kid so crazy? <laughs> <laughs> How is he My popping like this? My mom was literally just sneaking uh, me jello shots. I loved it. Wow. Amanda? <laughs> uh, so mine was probably going to an NSYNC concert. <laughs> <laughs> really? Of course. I have been, but uh, I wouldn't say it's that happy. He went as an adult, so it doesn't oh, count. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. I guess it's not like one specific memory, but like um, I think like holidays, like with my family, everyone was like at my grandma's house with all the cousins and good Italian food, like that kind of stuff sticks out. In like my memory, you know, real, real Guinea shit, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Landon. Yeah. <laughs> he knows his mom's in the child. chat. He's trying He's like, to curate it. Like, no, like, no, no. It when, was, I, uh, when I ate my brother in the womb. Yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace to my delicious. fourth brother. That might be uh, one of the unsung He's memories that I'll ever now, have. So you observed yeah. him. Uh, I think a lot of it would probably be like recreational sports when I was younger, like with my brothers. And we had a team that we played flag football with. And like we kind of like did really well. I think we won like back to back years for like flag football. And like, that was just a lot of fun. Like after coming home from school, going to practice at like 5.30, like being with the same people, doing things every weekend. And then just like really enjoying that kind of moment. Cause that was definitely a lot of fun for me. Like when I was younger, just not being able to wait to be like, okay, after school there's football practice and then there's a game. And that stuff was a lot of fun for me when I was younger. Yeah. I think for me, all of my, most memorable childhood experiences sports revolve around related. sports. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I have endless ones that are like baseball related. Uh, but I think a small era that really sticks out the most to me was when we were 12, uh, a roller hockey rink opened. And it was. Uh, so you have to understand the landscape of like when, when we were kids, everything was a league. There wasn't like, there wasn't like it is now where uh, there are travel leagues and like there's such sophistication to, to sports. Um, a lot of it was just like developed within the community. So for baseball, you had little league for football, you had peewee football. Um, and then basketball, it was 
uh, really, CYO. And you it was, could. It was only CYO though. Yeah, it was never much. outside your town either. It was maybe like right. Two you didn't towns. really travel too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so basketball is a great example. So CYO was like Catholic youth, youth organization. Mm-hmm. That was the only basketball league that existed prior to junior high. So if you played basketball, <laughs> you just didn't play organized yeah. until you turned like 13. Unless you were Catholic. <laughs> right. Unless you were Catholic. I and ironically, like none of the Catholic kids were any good at basketball in our town. <laughs> yeah, on Long, in Long Island, we had um, PAL, Police Athletic League. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Keep you guys off the streets. Exactly. I understand. Um, I so... <laughs> <laughs> when roller hockey like became huge and there was a very short window where it was massive it was like from 92 to 98 or so uh these roller hockey rinks started to to pop up and there was one in like the tri-county area so it was like our hometown lower Burl, um i guess like you could include like freeport apollo kiski area etc and we just went there for like open skates uh quite often um and slowly but surely, we really, as a, as a group, our friend group, uh, you know, in a small high school, we all do the same things. So we all kind of fell in love with hockey at the same time. There was like eight to 10 of us that would routinely play. and would have our parents like take the nets out to Northmoreland Park, which was like, you know, five or six miles away. Uh, we would play on the tennis courts. Those were fun. Those were fun days. So much yeah. fun. <laughs> Lamanna was not much of a roller, uh, roller blader. No. Broke his wrist. Call him out I didn't like break that. my wrist. Huh? Are you gonna call him out yeah. on his rollerblading skills? Well, like he knows. You broke your wrist. I thought you broke your wrist coming down the, the back hill behind the no, cafeteria. No, no, I broke my wrist uh, in gym class diving for a volleyball. <laughs> um, didn't know for six months. That was the other wrist didn't that I know sprained. For six That's how months. hard. Oh. It was a small bone, and then I did it. It like it it like healed, but not fully healed. And then um, like not until I started playing football. Uh, like and I was had a lot of contact. I was like, man, there's something wrong here, wow. and I got X-rayed, and it's never like it's never healed. Like it's look crazy. It's, <laughs> so it's, the, a, it's a bad. Uh, wait, what happened then over. when you were coming down the hill behind the cafeteria? So I was coming down the hill, right? Well, I you sprained the my wrist was for sure. Fast. I was coming, yeah. Like <laughs> the tortoise was going way too Mom. fast, <laughs> way way too he was fast. Going, like tortoise and, mock three. and I was like, I was like, I don't know what to do, like. I was thinking like, okay, I didn't realize I was going as fast as I was and I didn't want to just, I didn't know how to stop. Uh So I was like, okay, well, I can either just bite it into the pavement or I was like, I was like, maybe I can just like slowly guide myself into the wall and like stop that way. (laughs) Instead of like taking a tumble into the, into the pavement, I decided to run into a a brick wall essentially. (laughs) It was probably like, mind you, this is when rollerblades were like relatively and I was going new. Pretty fast, and obviously I didn't have a lot of time to think, and the tortoise thinks slow. So <laughs> <laughs> that's the decision I made, and my wrist uh, paid for it. Wow. And, and mind you, like this is when rollerblades were relatively new, so uh, <laughs> hockey skates were like were <laughs> hockey skates weren't exactly owned by a lot of people. Uh-huh. The, they, this was like when rollerblades still had like the the back bumper oh, brake yeah. on them. Yeah. That wasn't going to do anything. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't going to do anything. So like he when I say he wasn't great on skates, uh like also he just had like the cheapest shittiest skates uh-huh. that right. you could yeah. imagine. Yeah, yeah. and also team, also I'm pretty sure like probably a half hour prior to this I was like I'm not, I'm not going to go down and and, and they're all like <laughs> God, let's do it. Come on, we're all doing it. Go on. I'm like I don't think it's a good idea. And like, nah, come on. I'm like, all right, well, I'm not going to be a baby. Let me, uh, you know. So the evolution of all this was eventually uh, the group of us put together our own roller hockey team. And we played uh, basically like after baseball season ended and prior to football season starting. So there was this window between like July and September where uh, we would play weekly. And we were fucking good. Like Jace was our goalie who, for all intent and purposes, like just wasn't very athletic. Uh, we tried to put him on skates a few times. He ended up with stitches every single time <laughs> he wore them. Like that. he tore his knee up. He somehow got stitches in his face. <laughs> like he just got fucked up on skates. But they let the goalies be on on shoes. And man, this is this is actually my favorite memory. Is is literally Jace. Just Jace in that role because he wanted to be an athlete so bad. He wanted to conform to the group so badly. But like you know, he just couldn't quite fit in. Uh, well enough when we play basketball he was always the guy who would like just do turnaround jumpers from literally anywhere on the court and not come <laughs> close to the rim and you know so we get him in goal and we would run practices like we tried to do it organized similar to like little league and stuff like that. we'd run practices like four or five days a week and we're just shooting pucks at him but 
you know, his ability was limited to what we as 12 year olds understood <clears throat> goaltending to be and what we could teach him and stuff like that. And we also had high expectations of like, well, we're all good at roller hockey somehow. So we want to win. So you better step it the fuck up. And we'd just be plastered pucks at him or all, all practice long and stuff like that. And with every, with every ball that got by him, and every goal that got scored, he would just get more and more pissed. And he was just this short fuse ready to explode. So when it would come game time, we, we won a lot. Like we made the championship every single league or every single year. Uh, he actually won goalie of the year once. Uh, I won the scoring title once. Like we were very good, but he would give up some like inexcusable goals. Uh, there was one goal where the other goalie slapped the, bu- slapped the ball <laughs> oh, no. from the other end and it went through Jace's five hole. <laughs> okay. Now, mind you, this is a small roller rink and the parents are heavily involved because we don't have coaches. This isn't actually a league. Like we're the ones organizing everything. Right. So they're all like literally right against the, the glass or not the glass, but like the boards. Yeah. And most of them are behind the home goalie, which is Jace. So he lets a goal up and you would just hear this profane tirade just motherfucker <laughs> smash his stick into the ground we're 12 yeah and it's like gumby's mom would be there be like sorry mrs g <laughs> i was that kid oh. it was such a blast like my grandma was the only one who like never really cared about his mouth skimpy's mom was super religious gumby's yeah. mom was super religious like yeah they all would just be in horror right at this goalie who's just screaming profanities <laughs> every single game it's like we can be up six to one and he'd let a goal by and he's just absolutely letting it fly oh. uh so that was that was a ton of fun it was uh it was i think my first introduction to kind of like being the head of something and trying to be like diplomatic about things. Uh, I remember <laughs> it all came to a head one day when uh, nobody wanted Helso on the team anymore. So like we collectively voted him off and we're like, you know, sorry, Brian, like you're, you're a troublemaker. We, we, <laughs> we can't have your attitude doesn't fly with this squad, sir. <laughs> we're going to have to ask you to leave. Uh-huh. And John Simon, who's still to this day, one of our good friends decided to take a stand and he wasn't having, he's like, if Helso goes, I go. And we were all just like, uh, John's mom has a van, but nobody wants house on the team. <laughs> Gumby, can your, can your mom bring the, the, it's like, yeah, she can get the truck. We're like, all right. Sorry, Simmons, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. We just, uh, they, they, they made the Cougars. They weren't good. Cougars. We beat their ass. We I, never I, won the championship. I, I can't believe I didn't, I didn't think of this until now, but, um, the, uh, the poker nights in your grandma's attic were definitely uh, yeah. pretty good. I mean, we were older then. Memory. We were we're like sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, no, but I'm fifteen, maybe fourteen, no, fifteen. No, because the fucking night that I got crushed, where I misread my fucking hand. Well, that was that was. <laughs> you guys far. drove away that was and drove back in. at six a.m. Yeah. to tell me that yeah. I folded the yeah, best we hand. Did. That, was <laughs> that was amazing. I had sevens full versus like a six. On on a on a or sorry 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 I had you def yeah 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 I had pocket sevens, sevens pocket sevens and on there was seven ace, and someone ace. else had trip aces and you just thought like off you, it was did, you were thinking you had yeah you I thought, thought I just had trips and he had better trips right because we didn't, so yeah. I we were playing like our biggest buy-in ever it was like a hundred bucks each or something like that and I was in for two so I was somehow in for like two hundred and this was my way of getting even and uh, I I end up like losing this hand. And going to bed while they finish the fucking game in my room. Because we always, like, play down to a winner or two. Like, basically, winner takes all. So they decide to chop it up at, like, 4 a.m. They go to the local fucking... It's called King's, but it's basically, like, a Denny's. They have fucking breakfast on me, of course. <laughs> I'm in Thanks, bed, Bert. miserable. And, and we as realize I'm it there, there, we're like, holy shit, he had the best hand. But you guys got to understand... If you need, it's Berkey, right? He's right about everything all the time. Literally, if anybody everything. ever called out their wrong hand, he was the first one to tell them and make fun of them. Uh-huh. And so, like, we got him. Yeah. We finally yeah. got him. And we were so happy, right, to be on the other side and him being that on that other side. And we're like, should we go back? Like, he's sleeping. I'm like, yeah, I know, but we should wake him up, right? We got to, we got to really rub this in, right? I he's was like, not sleeping. Yeah, of course. I was laying in bed, knowing not full well I he's not the sleeping. best in. He, he realized it. He was stewing very, very hard, and 
He's just sitting up there in his room, and he hears the door open, and he knows. <laughs> he knows why the door's open, why we're back, and what we're going to say. We're like, yeah, you know what? He's like, yeah, I already know. <laughs> that, that, that might have been one of my worst childhood. I'm such. That's his worst childhood. <laughs> no, forget everything else I said. That's my favorite childhood. <laughs> That's yes. the best ever. That's my worst oh. ever. It's like, I've been to a crack yeah. house. Yeah. I've seen my mom right. sell right. all yeah. her goods. No, but like no, this that, night was yeah. just so bad. Oh, That's because it was your fault. Man. It was my fault. I, I, was, <laughs> I am still to this day, but definitely then I was the worst fucking loser on the planet. I wasn't a good winner either, but no. I was the worst oh, loser. Man. I was so emotionally invested in everything and I wanted so desperately to be the best at, or not even to be the best, but just to be thought of as like in the hierarchy of, of the boys, mm -hmm. you know, being, being proficient at something and man, like getting, getting like told how wrong you were in that spot and what you gave up. Cause we, we played by the rules of like, it wasn't card speak. It was uh, ignorance is punished kind of mindset. So it's like I tabled my hand. Everybody saw it. They would have saved you. They came back hours later to yeah, like Landon rub it in my face. You. I would have saved you. I would have said, "Yeah, he's a boat." Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I needed virtue signaling to Landon back yep. then. Landon would have done that, right? Yeah. He would have. Uh, We've been through this though before, right? Yeah. You know what? <laughs> As you get. Yeah. Oh he said, really? Berkey, your presence is required. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we have a television show to produce. <laughs> we were I have to interview you. <laughs> Conrad, Guys, I'm Hanks, going to Hanks replace you with Berkey to kick soon. You out. How about I'll take <laughs> his seat? Is that, no, does that it's work? fine. It's fine. We can end the show. No, it, just, what you're saying is you have to stand up for him, please. Yeah, fine. Well, Hanks okay. is in there, too. The last thing was supposed to last probably five minutes, and it lasted 25, because that's what Honestly, we I don't know what he's talking about. I'm not even late. I have to be there at 1.30. It's 1.17. I'm 15 minutes away. Like, yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> Jeff Max doesn't have me on Raya if You're already I send you to the studio. Late. We're, We're fine. Right Jeff, now. I'll tell you what. I'll be there on time if you get me my Raya request no, approved. No, put me on Raya before him. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to do it for today's show. Uh, I'm heading down to the Poker Go studio to play No Gamble, No Future. Really looking forward to it. We'll be back Monday, 1215. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let us know what your favorite childhood memory was. I, I want to hear a little bit about uh, all of you guys when you were four and five years old, out kicking it on the roller hockey streets, or you know, playing Slicing kick your can. hand with a Swiss Army knife. Yeah, playing you know, kick playing the can with, with your brothers, and, and then you would the keep hospital. losing. He played. He, one of my favorite memories is Griffin lost for probably five hours playing kick the can. We're like, it's just one person saying as a can, and they have to get everyone out and jump over the can. He lost for five hours, Wait. and like we just kept laughing. And, like we would like swarm him all at once. How so, do you play kick the can? Okay, so there's like a, there's a can, and then if you see someone, you just jump over the can and say like over the can on, and like they're out. So like, and the way that you win is you get everyone out. <laughs> but if someone kicks the can before you jump over it, then everyone that was out is now free, and the person that's it tries again. Do you see what I'm working with here, Platt? <laughs> <laughs> do you see what I'm working with? <laughs> He's in the chat going, "Win, the show's over, buddy. Wrap it up." <laughs> <laughs> Fucking amateur hour over here. I just can't do anything uh, as a host. Hey, <laughs> all right, let's end it. Good luck, Burke. Don't misread your hand. Thanks, guys. <laughs> we'll see you guys on Monday. Peace.